Has Taylor Swift's new friendship with Brittany Mahomes created some new bad blood? Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend Kayla Nicole has unfollowed Brittany and Patrick Mahomes on Instagram as of Sunday, amid his rumored new romance with the pop star. But it appears the tension is one-sided, as the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback and his wife still follow her on the social media app as of Monday night. Kayla's move comes one day after Brittany and Taylor were spotted having dinner with a group of friends in New York City Saturday night. That star-studded girl squad included Blake Lively and Sophie Turner. The actresses also accompanied Taylor and Brittany to the Chiefs game against the New York Jets Sunday night alongside Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. That was Taylor's second time rooting on her rumored new fling. She cheered on the football star the previous Sunday when the Chiefs played the Chicago Bears and she sat alongside his mom, Donna Kelsey. Her surprise appearance at last week's game further fueled speculation that she and Travis are an item. The two left the stadium and attended a post-game party together. A few days after that game, Travis spoke about Taylor on his and Jason's podcast, New Heights. Shout out to Taylor for uh, for pulling up. That was pretty ballsy. That was pretty ballsy. Yeah, <laughs> I um, I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her. You know, the the friends and family. She looked amazing. Everybody was talking about her in a, in great light. And on top of that, uh, you know the the day went perfect for Chiefs fans. Of course, it, <laughs> we scripted it all, ladies and gentlemen. It was it was just impressive. It was impressive to see the slow motion chest bumps, to see the, the 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 high fives with mom, to uh, to see how you know Chiefs Kingdom was all excited that she was there. That shit was absolutely hysterical, and it was uh, it was definitely a game I'll remember. That's for damn sure. Um, and then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end. Took my Chevelle to the game and yeah, shout out to Taylor for coming through and seeing me rock the stage. Travis spoke about Taylor on New Heights back in July after going to the Eras tour, saying he was bummed that he wasn't able to give her a Swifty friendship bracelet with his phone number on it. But now that they've connected, Travis explained why he'll be keeping things between them off the podcast for now. I know I brought all this attention to me, right? I'm the one that was, I did the whole friendship bracelet thing and, you know, told everybody how butthurt I was that I didn't get to meet Taylor. You gotta shoot your shot. Yeah, you know what I mean? You miss 100% and you don't take, baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think it's, uh, what's real is that, um, you know, it is my personal life and um, I want to respect both of our lives. I, she's not in the media as much as I am doing this show every single week and, you know, having fun during the NFL season on other guys' shows like, like the McAfee show and um, any other show that I go on from here on out, you know, like you said on that Thursday night game, I'm enjoying life um, and I sure as hell enjoyed this weekend. Uh, so everything moving forward, um, I think I, I think me talking about sports and saying all right now will have to be uh, kind of where I. 